Today we're gonna to talk about how to record pro vocals at home. Welcome, my name is Steve Cullen for the Secrets to Music Success.com. And uh, today we're gonna to talk about how to get that pro sound, how to record pro vocals at home. How do you get the sound? What are the pros using in their top studios? And I'm gonna kind of break it down and, uh, and give you a bunch of tips that you can um, that you can take onto your next recording, onto your next uh, project. So, so let's dive straight in. So number one is, and I always come back to it, it's the performance, it's the vibe, it's the, um, it's being prepared. It's all of those things because so it doesn't matter about all of this technology stuff. It doesn't matter about how good the microphones are, uh, how much you're paying for the studio, what kind of classic or um, uh, you know vintage studio that you're in. It does, none of this really matters if you're not coming in with the performance, if you're not bringing it. And so you've got to remember that. And you'll hear me say that a lot. You know, It's all about that performance because if you think about it, when you go see... Uh, or even when you listen to a song and why does it touch you or why does it feel so authentic? It's because the singer is living it, breathing it, and they're just giving it their all. They're just going for it. And I challenge you, go go on YouTube and check a bunch of um, bunch of videos of live singers um, when they're in the studio. You can see these huge celebrities or these huge uh, rock stars or pop stars. They're bringing it. They're going for it. They're not holding back and they're really, really going for it. So... The first thing, number one, it's the performance or the vibe. That's what you've got to bring. If you want to have a pro sound, if you want to record pro vocals, that's what you need. You need that performance. You can never get away with that. You've without it, you've got to have that performance. And, and you know, on that note, it takes. What does it take? If you're singing a a, a song about um, uh, feeling good, or you're singing a song about something positive, then go get happy. Go. Uh, Find a way, start thinking about all the things that you're thankful for or all the good things that are you ha that are happening in your life. That will always make you more positive and you'll always be more like, let's go for it. And you'll be able to just, you'll be, you'll come into the studio from a lot more of a positive uh, attitude and you'll, you'll give it to, you'll just bring it and you'll bring that vibe. Now, vice versa, if you're, if you're singing a song, um, uh, and it's a sad song, then then bring that vibe. Think about something that, you know, um, uh, think about something that will kind of bring you down or just get you in that place where it's really authentic. And uh, yeah, so that's number one, your performance and your vibe. You've got to bring it. That's number one. So number two is know that if you sing closer to the microphone, the closer you are to the microphone, uh, now be careful of distortion, um, which is you don't want to be too loud or you don't want the microphone to distort, so you're going to have to turn it down. But the closer you are, the more of the intimate sound. It's going to sound like you're singing right to their ear, and so that's how it's going to come through. And vice versa, you don't want to go too far away, but the further you go away from the microphone, the more uh, energy or the more yelling or the more, more loud or more dynamic the part is going to be, and it's going to sound like that. You're going to be picking up a little bit more of the room, uh, which on that note, if you're recording uh, at home um, in your bedroom, you've got to be careful of that because, you know, unless you've got a well-treated room, you could have a lot of echoes and a lot of delay, uh, sorry, a lot of uh, frequencies floating around that, that couldn't actually get caught in your, um, by the microphone in your, in your actual vocal take. So, so make sure that, um, you know, you keep that in mind when you're doing that and, uh, and, uh, and try, um, Try recording um, with your mic and move it around the room. Find the best spot in the room and, and record. Like maybe uh, set it up in the middle. I prefer the middle of the room, uh, you know, because if you move it too closer to the walls, uh, you're going to get... If if you sing in front of the wall, like let's say the wall's in front of me there um, and the microphone's in between, you're going to get bounce off from that back of that wall and it's going to come back into your microphone. And vice versa, if you go to the back wall and you're singing... Um, it's going to hit the back wall a little bit and come back too. So you've got to be, the, the center of the room is usually a good place to start, but hey, walk around the room a little bit. See, every room is different. So find um, find a way, find the sweet spot in your room. And and what you can do is uh, you can sing. And, and when you're on the microphone, say where you are. Just sing a couple of notes and say, hey, I'm singing in the corner, the right corner. You know, and then you go to the next corner. I'm singing over here. And then have a listen back and, and go with what go with what your ears tell you. You know, that's uh, 
that's the best key. Go with what, um, which one you like. And so that's a great kind of place to start. So, so number two is uh, sing closer to the mic, watch out for the microphone, what they're going to be picking up and that kind of thing in the room. So, um, number, uh, number three is treat yourself like a star. And, um, and this one is a really good one. It kind of ties into the performance, into the vibe of the um, uh, of your being prepared and all that kind of thing. If you treat, if you, what do you need in order to feel comfortable? Maybe um, uh, you know, and it especially helps for uh, uh, you know if you're if you're bringing a singer into your room uh, to record. It helps you know, like have a little set up a little table, you know, and um, maybe set up some candles, make make the room clean, you know, um, uh, maybe put some. Uh, uh, a dr nice uh, a tea there and maybe just just make it look really good give the singer the confidence now now that's the same for us too when we when we're prepared prepared and we walk into the studio or walk in our own room we're like we're going to record vocals don't get in your get out of your head that's that's another one just get out of your head but we want to go in there and we want to feel like a rock star we want to feel like like this is going to happen this is we sound so awesome so and and another tip on that is in order to sound good is um you might want to put a little bit of reverb in your in your headphones uh you might want to put a little bit of um uh, like a little bit of compression or just whatever you need. Um, you know, Chris Lord Algi has a, a great plugin called uh, Vocals, CLA uh, Vocals by Waves. It's a great, very inexpensive, inexpensive plugin. Uh, you can throw that on and you can record with it and uh, you can change it later on. It doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't print with your recording. So you can use that kind of plugin and it sounds great. Tweak a little bit, but find that sound that sounds good for you. And, and then, and just, and then you're ready. You're just coming in and you're just like, I you just feel good. And you're like, man, this, I feel like a rock star, you know, have a coffee before you come in. Um, whatever you need to uh, feel good when you, when you come in and you're, you're ready to sing, set up the microphone, set up everything, you know, before you come in and do your vocals. So that's make sure you treat yourself really good when you're, um, you're singing. And also that goes with your internal um, thinking and everything. Be telling yourself, you got this, you got this, pat yourself on the back, be your own quarterback, be your own, um, uh, you know, coach, tap yourself on the back, say, you got this, you got this, you check it out, you, you go over all your wins, you know, make yourself feel like you're a rock star. It's just, this is it, you know, everyone's just loving it and, and you, this is going to be the number one single and, and, uh, you, you're coming in and you're, you're going to blow it away. So come, if you come with that right attitude and, um, I promise you, it's going to change your, it's going to, it's going to give you the vibe and, uh, you're just going to be able to knock it out of the park. So, so treat yourself like a rock star. Number, um, number five is, um, some people have asked, what is my vocal chain? Now this is my vocal, my vocal chain. Tons of people have, you'll end up finding your own, um, vocal chain. But, um, if you're just recording at home, start off with the best microphone you possibly can get. Uh, I can't underestimate that. It's, if you've got to have a good microphone. Now, I would, I honestly would, would save up or do whatever you can to get that, that microphone. That microphone is an instrument, you know, it's, uh, and if you get a good one, it'll hold its value. And if you don't, don't break it or throw it around, if you look after it, it's a valuable instrument. And, and guess what? It's recording, it's capturing all of your vocals. It's capturing all of your, uh, everything you sing. You don't want a microphone that only captures half of that. So, you know, you're going to make sure that you um, are using a good microphone. So that's number one in the um, vocal chain. When I record, after I record in, I have a couple of uh, preamps that I use. You know, I'm always playing around with different kind of sounds. At the moment, I'm going through a, uh, a Rupert Neve uh, 511 and then into, um, into a, uh, it's called the One LA. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, so I go into the One LA. So, um. So that's kind of like my vocal chain at the moment. I'm digging that. I'm, I'm loving the um, the one LA. It's kind of like a two, uh, an LA two A. Uh, it's cloned off that. It's got it's a tube compressor, a uh, tube compressor. So um, or as you'd say in Australia, tube compressor. <laughs> so, but um, so that's great. Um, that's what I use. But you don't need that. So if you're running straight into the box um, on the on the plug in side. Uh, the first thing in my chain um, is an EQ. I like to EQ before I go into the compressor. You know, maybe there's a couple of little frequencies that I maybe don't want. I've just ducked down a little bit. And then I go into the compressor um, and 
and I don't like to, I only like to just touch the compression a little bit, maybe nothing more than minus three, minus two, minus three, somewhere around there, just kind of touching it. And then sometimes I'll put another EQ on the other side uh, because whatever comes out of the compressor, that those are the sounds, you might want to EQ that a little bit. But that's pretty much my, sometimes I'll put a de or before that last EQ, uh, depends on the, um, the vocalist. Um, but that's kind of like my plug-in chain. Um, uh, and then, of course, I'll send out, you know, reverbs and uh, delays uh, through a bus there. But that's my main um, vocal chain. So, um, yeah, so awesome. So the last uh, last little tip, I'll give you a last little point, is when you're using headphones, going back to that point where, um, you know, you want to feel like a rock star, you want to treat yourself like a star, um, make sure you've got the right mix. Now, uh, one thing with headphones, you, you might have seen a lot of people kind of like... Um, you know, they might be like putting putting your finger in the air because they're trying to hear themselves. What they're going for, they're trying to get that natural sound. They're trying to get, how do I normally sound? What do, what you know, because we don't really listen to our, uh, our vocals through headphones. That's not the normal, you know. Normally, you would hear it on a record or maybe buds, but most of the time you're kind of like listening. You, It's more of a uh, you're hearing it bounce off the walls. It's more of a live sound that you constantly hear in your vocals. So you don't really hear them with headphones. So so when you, what I like to do is I like to put one headphone uh, kind of off and on, kind of like just adjusting it around a little bit to f find the right mix because I want to be able to hear my vocals nice and clear. Um, like I don't even use the headphones as much to hear my vocals. I, I use my off the ear kind of to, to hear my vocals because it's more of a natural feel it's more of a natural sound and then if i want if it's a little i'm not quite hearing the track as much i just put the uh, put the headphones just over a little bit more and so that's kind of how i kind of capture that um um you know be able to capture the the liveness of me singing and be able to hear that so try play around with that and uh and if you're really serious um jam with your um with your headphones on like sit in front of the microphone and do some practice do some warm-ups i don't know 10 minutes every day for just for practice kind of getting the sound or getting the feel because sometimes um if especially if you're new at it having those headphones it can feel weird it can really what then you get back in your head you know you're you're thinking oh this is weird i'm you know and you're taking yourself out of the zone you're taking yourself out of the vibe and you're not just walking up and just going for it so one little idea is to just practice singing with your headphones on practice Practice, do your singing practice with your headphones, one ear on and one ear off. And it doesn't even have to have any music, but just practice having uh, the headphones on. So that when you go into the studio, when you push to record with the headphones on, um, it's it's totally natural. You don't even think about it. When I record my own vocals um, right here on this microphone, I uh, I don't even, I'm, and also I'm using a uh, U87, so you can look those up too. That's a, that's a great microphone, classic microphone for, um, uh, for vocalists throughout throughout history so but um but i always put those headphones on and i don't even think about it. i just put them on and i move it around a little bit as i'm singing you know sometimes i'll sing in between the verse i'll move it a little bit just tiny bit uh you know in between words so you're not making any noise but you've got to make sure you bring uh, that vibe and that performance i keep coming back to that because it's so true so um awesome guys well i know you've got a lot out of that and um and please go ahead and like uh hit the like button below uh what that does is youtube um um, any video that's liked, they bump it up a little higher in the, um, in the algorithm. So that really helps us out. And of course, subscribe if you want to find out more videos and more great information. And of course, I always love it if you share it with all your friends. So um, any of your musician friends, go ahead and share this. And um, if you want to get a free download uh, PDF of um, top mixing tips and um, top pop songwriting tips, go, go over to thesecretstomusicsuccess.com and uh, all you have to do is just uh, click on the link and download that. That's a free download for you guys because I want to help you out. Uh, I want to give you as much free information as you can. And, um, and then also, um, I've just released a, a new video, a Melodyne video. So if you're tuning up your vocals, uh, you're going to either need Auto-Tune, Melodyne, or uh, there's Waves Tune. I think there's a few others, but I highly recommend Melodyne. And uh, I have a course there, um, goes through... Gosh, I think it's um, over uh, eight, maybe ten hours of uh, of just information on how to get going and be a pro with uh, Melodyne. So a bunch of shortcuts and a bunch of tips. So 
Awesome, guys. Well, I know this has been helpful, and I can't wait to hear from you guys in the chat. Um, DM me, ask me any questions, and I will see you soon.